To the north of Rome lies Umbria, one of the most forested areas of Italy and where the Tiber River flows. It's a landscape shaped by agriculture over the centuries and today still known for its local delicacies, such as salami, olive oil, and truffle. An Umbrian speciality is roast pigeon. Anna Carloni prepares all her dishes with plenty of love. My real passion is cooking. Living here, even if there are only a few people left in our village, is good for me. Her nephew Micheli likes nothing more than walking through the forests and hunting for truffles with his dog, either to sell or to enjoy for himself. I've always liked truffles with anything, meat, pasta, bread. The agricultural college Augusto Ciofelli in the small city of Todi is the oldest in the whole of Italy. The final exams are only a few days away. The three pupils are in their final year. Micheli, the son of an olive farmer, Matteo, whose family works in agro-tourism, and Nicolas, whose parents work in the city Terni. They're in a chemistry lesson and examining the components of the locally produced wine and olive oil. A good olive oil should have low acidity, 0.3 or 0.4, I'm adding a mixture of alcohol and ether, and that will dissolve it. Yes, it will dilute it, and what should we expect, Nicolas, once we've completed the analysis? It will turn violet. Micheli comes from the small hamlet, Asignano, where his family and his uncle's family live. This morning, his aunt Anna and grandmother Maida are making onion marmalade. Are these onions really from Canara? Yes, they are, from a friend who farms there. They grow well in his soil. They're a very special variety, red and soft. And you can make marmalade with them? Yeah, they make everything with them, even sweets. To stop the caramelized onions from going dark, Anna adds some freshly squeezed lemon juice. As Micheli's father is always tending to the fields, and as his mother also works, Anna often cooks for the whole family. Now it has to cook for 40 minutes. Yes, maybe only half an hour. Look how wonderful it looks. What a smell, the onions from Canara. Delicious smell. Molto cordiale, cordiale, insomma via. Era molta gente qui. Many years ago, this was a large village with a lot of people. Most people had farms, but many left, and we became fewer and fewer. Now there are only about 20 of us. After a good half hour, the onion marmalade is ready. It tastes best with cheese. The Agricultural College in Todi is a regional institution. The only topic of conversation in the schoolyard are the upcoming exams. Which subject are you most worried about? Italian. 
Uh, for me, English is the hardest. I don't think the others will be too hard. Italian's easy. You just write a short essay, make something up, it's doable. Some teachers will be good at English. Stop thinking about English. The three friends still have a week to revise. By now, they're going over old material in their classes in preparation for the exam. Today, they're in the college cheese dairy. Now, one question. Tell me how ricotta is made. Ricotta is made from the whey left over from the cheese making. It has to reach the right isoelectric point. We make new types of cheese according to our local traditions. Cheese with sagrantino, the best local wine, cheese with truffles, uh, but also with serpillo, a wild herb that grows at 700 meters. We put this in the cheese. Like many towns, Todi was once part of the Papal States. Many saints come from the region. Francis of Assisi, Benedict of Nursia, the Holy Clara. Mighty churches still stand out in the medieval towns of the Umbrian hillsides. In Asignano, Anna is preparing the dough for a different kind of pizza, torta al testo. Hi. Hello, good that you're here. I brought cheese from Ricardo for our picnic today. Great. I have the onion marmalade. It goes very well. My wrists are hurting. I'll do it. Have you washed your hands? Your aunt still needs to put water in. Now. You can start to knead. Press with your hands. The dough has to get enough air. Turn it in from the sides. Exactly. Turn it. You have to learn when you marry. You should be able to do this yourself. Why should I marry if I have to do it myself? Even today, Umbrian bread is made without salt. There is no salt in the dough. The church used to have a salt tax, and people couldn't afford it. Salt was precious, so in Umbria, the bread remained unsalted. A pizza is made with the same dough, not in the oven, but in the testo, a cast iron form that's placed on the open flame or over the stove. The Romans already used the testi to bake bread. We would place the testi, made from iron or cast iron, on hot coals, and yeast dough would be placed on top. It is an Umbrian speciality, the torta al testo. You eat cheese with it, and especially salami. Right, this is ready. Here, there's something for your picnic. Torta al testo. Tell me how it went. And say hello to Nicholas and Matteo. Enjoy your evening. Ciao. 
Mateo and the boys have chosen a spot with a particularly good view. The time had been intended for some revision. It's different. Do you like it? No. He doesn't like it. Very good. Fantastic. Fantastic. What will you do after the exam? I don't know exactly. Maybe continue the family farm? I haven't decided yet. Either I'll work on the farm or I'll look for work somewhere else. And you? You're going to get married soon? I have to find the right one first. <laughs> what about you, Micheli? Not the right time yet. Good question. I've been engaged one and a half years. We'll see. I'd like to start a family. The next morning, Micheli is helping his father in the olive groves. Mauro wants him to study after his final exams. I'm worried you won't develop further. Why? And to have new experiences, you need some time for yourself. You have to make some mistakes. I can make mistakes here. After 20 years, I'm still making new mistakes. Una decisione da prendere, però aspetta più che altro a lui. He has to make the decision himself. I've given him some advice. I can't do more than that. Now he has to decide what's best for him. Difficult decision. <laughs> Last year, pests destroyed the olive harvest. But this year, the trees are looking good. A few hills further on lies the house of Matteo's parents. Today, he's baking tozzetti, the Umbrian version of biscotti, the well-known biscuit. Uh, the passion for baking I got from my aunt, but also from my grandparents. All of them were cooks. They always liked working in the kitchen. And they also passed on their sweet tooth. era passione del verde, quindi le piante, il giardino, le orchidee. I love the garden, the green, the plants, the orchids. Raccogliendo piante nel bosco, comunque sia sempre partendo I collect plants and herbs in the forest. And I make a liqueur out of them like uh, limoncello or rose liqueur that I make with real rose petals soaked in alcohol. Fatto proprio con i petali di rosa. You can smell the scent of the rose. Particolare perché si sente proprio l'odore del fiore della rosa. Tozzetti is usually eaten as a dessert, dipped in sweet wine.
I brought something along. I baked tzatzetti. Here, take some. Thank you. Mm, delicious. Great. Thank you. Take some more? Yeah, I think I will. To finally get around to some revising, the three friends are driving into the mountains for the afternoon. On the high plains of Castelluccio, the wild mountain herbs are in full bloom. Nicola's uncle Vicenzo is sowing rovella seeds, a type of wild pea. It used to be grown as food for the pigs. It's typical for Castelluccio. When we talked about it elsewhere, people would say, what's rovella? And we'd say, you cook them with farecchiata. But what's farecchiata? Today, the visitors in our restaurants want to try it, and they all like it. Nicola's grandmother will also be serving farecchiata today. Bring the pea flour. How good! Winter is finally over. Yes, very good. The water and dissolved pea flour has to cook on the stove for an hour. I'm so hungry. What have you cooked? Farecchiata. What's farecchiata? It's flour from the rovella. It's a wild pea that belongs to the same family as the normal pea. Nicholas, it's your turn to start. But Nicholas doesn't eat it. Don't you like it? No, no. He hasn't even tried it. I will try. On how many hectares do you grow it? Two or three, and sometimes we don't even harvest a kilo. Olive oil is heated and infused with a garlic clove for the sauce. Only anchovies are added. <laughs> the boys enjoy the simple but wholesome soup. Only Nicolas refuses his grandmother's speciality and is sticking to pasta and tomato sauce. In the evening, Micheli takes his dog Lassie for a walk and some truffle hunting in the forest. I've always liked truffles with everything, meat, pasta, on bread, even just fresh after the harvest. I'm truffle mad.
Michele's mother is already waiting for his treasures from the forest. She's home from work and preparing a truffle paste. Bello, brava Lassie. Well done, Lassie. You need time to grate them. Maybe this one isn't quite ripe, but together with the others, it will be fine. It smells good. Maybe we'll leave that one and take another one. Bruschetta is a delicious starter, and with freshly gathered truffles, the very best. Is that enough for 20 people? It's a lot of grating. Please, pass me the oil. You need a lot for this many truffles. The bruschetta and truffle paste will be served tomorrow as a starter after the exams. Exam day. It's all over after three hours. It went well. Yeah, the teachers were good as well. Yes, quite good. There was a lot of excitement, but let's um, hope for the best, huh? Yeah, the teachers made it easy. Well, we should go home and rest. We did it. Anna and Grandmother Maida have started with the preparations for the small feast. Roast pigeon is being served. First, the sauce is prepared. Anna is chopping chicken liver in place of songbirds that are used in other regions. No, I don't put songbirds into the sauce. Many do. I pity them because they're so small. So I use a different meat to make the sauce. The sauce has to cook for several hours. Then let's cook. Mm. What a smell. It smells good. Is it beginning to simmer? The not-so-small pigeons are skewered in time for the dinner. And then we'll make the grilled bread for the sauce. Will they be happy? In the ghiotta, a special clay bowl, the women collect some of the fatty juices from the cooking meat, the ultimate ingredient for any sauce. Ehi ragazzi! Ti festeggiamo allora! Allora, a 
toast to the end of school. And to the roast pigeon. Yeah. <laughs>